Hey there. Today I am going to do an experiment. I have been doing the series here lately, the black backgrounds with the uh, very colorful and abstract looking, kind of like feathers. So they've had feather names, feather dance, feather, violet feathers, that kind of thing. And so my experiment today is going to be the same thing that I do on the black, I'm gonna do it on the white. And I have no idea if it will have the same effect. I guess it probably won't be quite as dramatic because it will be on white, but I want to see if, you know, everybody doesn't care for black. They don't have it in their home decor or whatever. And so I'm gonna try it with white backgrounds. And one, and one of them I'm gonna do a black swipe Whereas typically I use the white as my swiping color on the feather paintings, I, um, I'm gonna swipe with black instead. These are three canvases that are probably nine by 12. They have push pins on the back, just like you would for a pour painting to keep them raised up off the table. I don't typically, you know, with the other paintings, sometimes it, the design goes over the edges and sometimes it doesn't. But I went ahead and put a thin layer of white mixture of paint on all the canvases and around on the sides so that it has just a slight wet background to paint on. I'm using DecoArt products and all my colors are in squeeze bottles because that's the way I can control my pour painting and make it more of an artistic style. So all of the colors are mixed 50-50 with Flood Floetrol, Floetrol latex based, not oil based. In all of my colors except for white and black, I put in treadmill lubricant, which you can't see the label, but it's treadmill lubricant. 100% silicone, other similar uh, things are like WD-40 or liquid wrench that are spray, but these are drops and I like them because you can control it better. And I have leftovers from other pores and like in here, I believe I had brilliant purple, but I think it's actually a little darker, but I'm going to show you if you add, if you mix up paint in a cup or whatever, Whatever amount of paint you put in your cup, I took the flow trawl and it's in a squeeze bottle here. You put the same amount of flow trawl that you do your paint. So if you use an ounce of paint, you use an ounce of flow trawl and you mix it up. And anytime you mix up your paint with Floetrol, you do that together first. So they combine and bind with each other. And then you only add water if you need it, if it does not pour off your stick like warm honey. And this is pretty good, so I'm not gonna add any water. The DecoArt paints in Americana, all of them like this in the bottle, typically if you put them into your cup and add the same amount of flow trawl, you're not gonna need water. It's gonna be about the perfect consistency. If you use the premium deco art that's in a tube, this is the next level of paint quality. It's thicker, it's creamier. You do need to add some water to this to make it to a creamy honey type consistency. So if you're using your colors out of a tube, like the premium, you do add water, but I don't add water with the bottle paints because they're already a little bit on the fluid side. All of the colors that I use today will be listed below the video. And because I added paint to this, I probably added about an ounce. I'm going to also add a drop or two of treadmill lubricant. 
and a few stirs and that's it. I have every color in the rainbow mixed up in bottles and they're off to the side. I had one of my subscribers asked if I could please give myself more space where I'm not banging into my bottles and that kind of thing when I'm swiping. So I cleaned my table off. I apologize, um, my camera was not recording. So I had put down on the canvas these colors. I had done the, the dioxazine purple, the purple pizzazz, the vivid violet, uh, the desert turquoise, the deep blue, the peacock teal green color. It's not green, it's got a bluish green cast red, orange, cadmium yellow. Sour apple. And I don't know if the video recorded it or not, but I was saying that I'm going to swipe one with black and swipe the other two with white and see if it has the same effect as when you do the white over the black as in my other videos. I'm going to add some of the ocean blue. In here as well. Oops. It got clogged and put a bunch in there, but anyway. I'm going to swipe the two with white and the one with black and just see what the difference will be like. The thing I like about the card is you can you can turn it and curve it. You can't do that as easily with a straight stiff tool. So that's why I like using the card sometimes. And you always want to wipe your whatever you're swiping with, you want to wipe it off after you swipe so you don't put the color or contaminate the next colors. So, and you you do it very lightly. Because you see there, if I do it too hard, it totally takes it down to your canvas. And that's why you're seeing that white pop through. So it is, it is pretty. 
I have to admit, but I'm not sure that it's as striking. And then I've got a lot of swipes going on here. So I'm not sure as, if it's as striking as it is with the black background. This is butcher paper that my canvases are on top of. It's great for wiping things off or if after it dries, it will peel right off. I'm gonna go rinse and I'll be right back. We're gonna move this a little bit so it's out of the way. Now with these two, we're gonna swipe like I normally do with the white. I am gonna use the, the bigger one, I think, because I had so many smaller swipes on the other one. And this white paint here is barely wet, it's almost dry. Very light touch. So those look pretty uh, against the white as well as they do against the black. It's not quite as striking, but it's still very pretty because it's those rainbow colors. Uh, the only thing is you lose your edge of the feather. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a color along the edge. Now I'm going to come back with the white. You have to watch your, your thumbprints on the white. They show up a little bit more than they do on the black. And then I'm going to basically just rub that up close to that orange but not quite so it takes away some of the hardness of it and then just blend in my white the same with this one
I'm actually going to use a straw here. I'll take the butter knife and just kind of fan it out a little bit. Also have these splashes of color I want to get rid of. And where these colors come to the edge, you can just kind of wrap it around the canvas very gently with your finger. I like these. I kind of want a little bit of something else. I think I'm going to use this peacock color. Add a little bit of this into the white along here. And while I do that, I'm going to take my card and just have it blend in a little bit into the white. And I have a little bit of this A little bit of this turquoise, not turquoise, peacock color. a little bit of that color almost like it's splashing a little bit these areas that I already put the white paint which is titanium white mixed with Floetrol and water. So it, it has that same mixture that all the colors do. It just doesn't have silicone. So I'm tempted, you know, to swipe here where there's more white, where it looks a little heavier, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that the way it is. The only thing is right here, I'm get some of this 
And a canvas this size, it doesn't take much paint at all. But I'm gonna go over that area because the canvas was showing through and it is right here too. And basically I'm just dragging this paint because it's kind of thick. So I just drag it over a little bit. So I think these two look pretty good. I could do more because I love color and I just love, I love the process and I love to just keep playing and adding and all that. But I know that sometimes it's, it might get to be too much. So I'm going to leave these the way they are. I like them. They're pretty and it's for people that don't want a black background because they may have these colors in their house or whatever, but they may not prefer the black. So this is just an easier or softer background, you know. So the only thing I'm trying to do now is my white has gotten a little chunky in areas. I'm just trying to smooth it out. So this one, I swiped too many times. Obviously, the less is better. So, I love the colors with the contrast of the black here. I'm wondering if I can go back over this area, and I probably should not even touch it, but I need to figure out a way to break it up a little bit. Tell you what, don't like this at all so I'm gonna do the lime yellow orange
then turquoise. I've got way too much paint on here, but I just do not like that at all. So we're going to try this area again. I'm going to use this one instead. I'm actually going to bring this one over this here. No. Totally messed this one up. <laughs> so since I messed this one up, why not? Why not just continue to play with it? We have nothing to lose because this is all about painting with joy. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And the problem was I just didn't swipe it right. It, it's not the colors because the colors are beautiful. Okay, move my bottles out of the way so I have plenty of space to work. So, you know, like I said, I already screwed this up. But I do know that I love the black with those rainbow colors. It's gorgeous. I'm adding just a little bit of white over here because that white has dried and I want it to be able to... Um, Smooth. And let's just, you know, you can do you can do a pour, you can do a swipe. There are no rules with this. That's what I love about it. Okay, so I'm going to just 
swipe here. Or here. This part I'll go here, here, I'm going to re-swipe this area. It's got the white in it, but let's just make it a full swipe and not have it planned and let it be a big mess and see what happens anyway, right? You can't lose. Well, that peacock color. Turquoise. I need red because I love the red, orange, and turquoise. Let me throw a little blue in there. Now that white is there, so I'm not sure where I'm putting the black over the white. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't want it to go gray, hopefully. There's a smaller one here. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> Okay, this one. I want to come this way. Look at that. Piece of photo paper. So if you have an area you don't like,
So I still kind of see my feather here. Isn't that funky? <laughs> And look at the beautiful colors on this piece of photo paper. So, this one totally did not come out anything like I planned in my mind, but I still like Rid of that white streak and I didn't like that pink streak. So you just swipe it out. <laughs> Not what I expected, but I still like it. It's bursting with color, which I love. There's a part there where the canvas was showing through, but um, that is still super cool. It's like a psychedelic dream. The cells are beautiful. So I'm going to have to keep working on swiping over the white canvas with black, but that just shows you how beautiful those colors pop. I just got to figure out the way to do it. And I see I want to add a little black there. So it has it has a little bit of that feather feel. Where it's going off in different feathery directions. There's one. And there's the other. think it's pretty. I, I think I love it against the black more so, but like I said, not everybody has black. This would go easier with someone's decorating. Here is one of them, and obviously it's wet. Here's the other. The lighting is not good where I have them drying on my stove top, but um, I will post pictures of the dried. Here is the psychedelic one that went all wrong, but there's so many beautiful parts of it. It almost like glows. So even though it was a fail, it turned out beautiful in its own way. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.
don't like this at all. So. Now do the lime. Yellow. Orange. Red. Turquoise. I've got way too much paint on here, but I just do not like that at all. So we're going to try this area again. I'm going to use this one instead. I'm actually going to bring this one over this here. Nope. Totally messed this one up. <laughs> so since I messed this one up, why not? Why not just continue to play with it? We have nothing to lose because this is all about painting with joy. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And the problem was I just didn't swipe it right. It, it's not the colors because the colors are beautiful. Okay, move my bottles out of the way so I have plenty of space to work. So, you know, like I said, I already screwed this up. But I do know that I love the black with those rainbow colors. It's gorgeous. I'm adding just a little bit of white over here because that white has dried and I want it to be able to... Um, Move and let's just 
you know, you can do you can do a pour, you can do a swipe. There are no rules with this. That's what I love about it. Okay. So I'm going to Swipe here and here. This part I'll go here, here, I'm going to re-swipe this area. It's got the white in it, but let's just make it a full swipe and not have it planned and let it be a big mess and see what happens anyway, right? You can't lose. Well, that peacock color. Turquoise. Yeah, I need red because I love the red, orange, and turquoise. Let me throw a little blue in there. Now that white is there, so I'm not sure where I'm putting the black over the white. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't want it to go gray, hopefully. There's a smaller one here. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, this one. I want to come this way. Look at that. piece of photo paper. So if you have an area you don't like,
So I still kind of see my feather here. Isn't that funky? <laughs> and look at the beautiful colors on this piece of photo paper. So this one totally did not come out anything like I planned in my mind, but I still like rid of that white streak and I didn't like that pink streak. So you just swipe it out. <laughs> Not what I expected, but I still like it. It's bursting with color, which I love. There's a part there where the canvas was showing through, but um, that is still super cool. It's like a psychedelic dream. The cells are beautiful. So I'm going to have to keep working on swiping over the white canvas with black, but that just shows you how beautiful those colors pop. I just got to figure out the way to do it. And I see I want to add a little black there. So it has it has a little bit of that feather feel. Where it's going off in different feathery directions. There's one. And there's the other. I think it's pretty. I, I think I love it against the black more so, but like I said, not everybody has black. This would go easier with someone's decorating. Here is one of them, and obviously it's wet. Here's the other. The lighting is not good where I have them drying on my stove top, but um, I will post pictures of the dried. Here is the psychedelic one that went all wrong, but there's so many beautiful parts of it. It almost like glows. So even though it was a fail, it turned out beautiful in its own way. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.